Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, section 7.4, Writing Equations in Two Variables, Activity. Pause while you write section 7.4, Activity, in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's activity objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is write equations in two variables. Copy the following key terms, definitions, and examples exactly as they appear into your notebook. Equation in two variables. An equation that represents two quantities that change in relationship to one another. Solution of an equation in two variables is an ordered pair that makes an equation in two variables true. Independent variable is the variable representing the quantity that can change freely in an equation in two variables. A dependent variable is the variable whose value depends on the independent variable in an equation in two variables. Today we're going to start on page 163 in your record and practice journal. Activity 1, writing an equation in two variables. You earn $8 per hour working part-time at a store. Letter A, our job is to complete the table. Looking at the first row of the table, if we work one hour, we earn $8. So we put an 8 in the first box. If we, are, if we work two hours, we earn $8 for each hour, so 8 times 2 is $16. If we work three hours, 8 times 3 is 24, so we earn $24. If we work four hours, we earn $32. And if we work five hours, we earn $40. So now let's look at part B. It says use the values from the table to complete the graph, then answer each question below and on the next page. So let's first write our graph values as ordered pairs. So we're going to write 1, comma, 8, and 2, comma, 16, 3, 24, 4, 32, and 5, 40. This helps us when we go to graph so that we don't make a mistake and go the wrong direction. And then we need to label our graph. So we always want time on the horizontal axis. So we're going to put hours worked on the horizontal axis. And we're going to also label that with a variable. And we're going to make it h. I picked H because that makes sense to have an H stand for hours. And then on the vertical axis, we're going to label that money earned. And it's important to put that that's in dollars. And we need a variable for this axis as well. So we're going to put an M for money. Now for this graph, they've given us little boxes along our graph line. So when we graph each ordered pair, we're going to write the ordered pair in those little boxes. So we're going to graph the first ordered pair, 1, 8. So remember to always go across first to 1, and then we go up to 8. And then we graph it. We put the point on our line, on our graph. And then we go to 2, 16, 2, 16, and then up to 3, 24, and then 4, 32, and 540. And so we would put all those points along our line. 
and then draw connect the points to draw the line. Our next question says, what does the horizontal axis represent? So remember, the horizontal axis goes sideways. And what variable did you use to identify it? So the horizontal axis represents the hours worked and we used H to identify it. Please be sure you write that down in your record and practice journal. Turn the page to page 164 and we're going to continue using the same graph. The next question says what does the vertical axis represent? And the vertical axis represents the amount of money earned. And the second part of that question is what variable did you use to identify it? And we used M to identify that variable. And the next question is how are the ordered pairs in the graph related to the values in the table? And since the ordered pairs in the graph come directly from the table, we can say that our ordered pairs, H and M, represent the values in the table. Be sure you get that copied down correctly. The next question, how are the horizontal and vertical distances shown on the graph related to the values in the table. So when you look at the table, you'll notice that there's a pattern between the numbers in the left and right columns. And the horizontal distance corresponds to the pattern in the left-hand column, and the vertical distance corresponds to the pattern in the right-hand column. So we're going to write that. So for those of you who are having a hard time reading my writing, it says the horizontal distance corresponds to the pattern in the left column. The vertical distance corresponds to the right. Letter C. How can you write an equation that shows how the two variables are related? So we can do that by thinking about what this graph is showing us. It's showing us that the money that we earn equals the hours that we work times eight dollars. So that's our equation showing the relationship between these two variables. Letter D is for you to do on your own. So that's your homework for this lesson. Your assignment for this lesson is to complete letter D of activity 1 on page 164 of your record and practice journal. Be, sh be prepared to share during our next class. Please remember to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson. You must complete your exit slip Come to our next class prepared with the journal pages or other work from the flipped lesson completed and be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed. Be prepared with any questions you have for the teacher and always have a good attitude. We'll see you next time in class.